Let's continue building out this custom theme. So right now, if I run project by clicking this button up here and take a look at it, so I'll click on the link and I'll sit, say open. Okay, so this isn't technically valid HTML. If you look over here, we're missing some essential HTML tags. In fact, we don't really have any HTML in here except for this and what these things are generating. And that's what we're seeing here on this screen. But we need to have valid HTML. So I'm gonna do this. You don't have to do this right now. I'm just gonna show you. So I'm gonna highlight all of this. And on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Command forward slash. That'll comment everything out. Uh, and we'll undo that in a second. You don't need to do this. I'm just demonstrating. So if I save my file now and go over here and refresh, there we go. I've commented everything out using HTML comments. So everything's missing now. And we have a blank slate. So below here, I'm going to demonstrate what a valid HTML document should look like. It begins with a doc type declaration. And then from there, you want to have an opening HTML tag and a closing one. Cloud9 auto generates that. You're also going to want a head tag and a closing one. And then you're going to want a body tag and a closing one. Just like that. And inside the head tag, you need to have a title tag. And we can just put something temporary now, custom theme title. So if I save this and then go over here and refresh, notice what happens. Nothing's changed over here, but if you look closely up here, you can see that the page title has changed and that's what the title tags affect. They, they affect the browser tabs title, okay? Now, when you add stuff inside the body tags, that's when anything will appear here in this big white space of the browser. So the entire kind of main frame of the browser, your code needs to go inside of these body tags. But this at a bare minimum is what we need. We need typically a few more tags and we're gonna add them shortly. But generally you wanna start with at least this when you're building out a website using HTML. Okay, so now let's fit that in with all of this stuff. So if you recall, I said all the content that's supposed to occupy this white space, basically the entire page, needs to go inside these body tags. So, so far we have this code. We need to put that inside of this body tag. So let's do that. I'm going to uncomment this by highlighting all of it and then command and forward slash. There we go. It's back to the way it was. And what I'm going to do is just copy all of this from the opening body tag up. I'm just going to cut that. And I'm going to put it up here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is highlight all of this and kind of tab it inwards. Because remember, you want to follow the indentation properly. Anytime you're nesting within tags, even if you're mu nesting multiple levels, you need to make sure that you tab inwards for every new level. And you can see what I mean here. Here's the opening tag. You can ignore this one because there's no closing tag for it. Okay, but there's this opening HTML tag. Here's its closing one. That's the first level. Then on the second level, you have head and body. So there's two different opening and closers. There's the body opening and closer here and the head opening and closer. They kind of live on the same level. Inside of head, this one is tabbed inwards because that's the only thing inside of head. Inside of body, we have a number of things, and they kind of tab as they get nested further and further. Hopefully, that's starting to make sense. Anywhere you have an opening tag, you need to have your corresponding closing tag. There are a few exceptions, but most things have a separate closing tag, uh, especially in HTML. And anything that's nested inside of it should have its own kind of tab level, one tab indentation deeper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this now. Go over here and refresh, and we're back to the way we were, but at least now we do have a valid HTML document, and we'll build up from here.